Copper Chase refit of the former RAF St. Athan Airfield 2019. In April of 2019, on time and as planned, RAF St. Athan in the Vale of Glamorgan, Wales, made the transition from a military airfield to a civilian airport. The transition project was executed by the resident air traffic service provider, Serco, with the major ATC equipment and nav aids supplied and installed by Copperchase. Working to a tight timescale, Copperchase was able to assemble the right team and the right equipment for the Serco transition works. The dismantling of the old equipment began, with the old equipment being removed until the tower was cleared. The underfloor cabling was completed, and the area was finally ready for the new equipment. Meanwhile, new equipment was set up in a temporary location for site acceptance testing and operator training on the new system. Copperchase installed the MET system, including sensors for wind, temperature, pressure, humidity, visibility and present weather. CERTA, Affinity Dual 10 kVA N plus 1 UPS with bypass switch were fitted. AME PVCCS with three operator positions with three VHF channels, two UHF channels, eight telephones and an alarms package. For ground to air comms, VHF and UHF Park Air Sapphire radios and for ground to ground, Motorola SL5500 repeaters were used. Also included were vehicle mobiles, hand mobiles and ATEX rated hand portables. The installation included a copper chase crash alarm system, integrated with an MEP TCS 990 voice switch. ATC radar monitoring using Cobham recorders. Jotron Ricochet one channel screen recording and TTW data recording. Furniture. Thinking Space Custom Desk Solution. Antenna masts. 418 meters masts, both telescopic and fold over. Clocks. Wharton clocks, GPS head, time server with NTP output and desk displays. ATC data systems. Copperchase ATC messaging, MET data displays and Visala sensors, WID 5 series panel displays for wind, temperature, pressure, cloud, visibility and present weather, and Copperchase Auto Metar, ATIS and Flight Data Management System, FDMS. As with any project of this kind, the biggest task is to bring all the different elements together at the correct time, while still maintaining the ATC service right up to the point of changeover. As can be seen from the above list of equipment this was no mean task. Basically, every piece of existing operational equipment had to be replaced from the equipment room to the VCR. The project started late 2018 and the deadline for changeover was 31 March 2019. The airfield would be closed for a four-day changeover period which had been allowed for the transition. Projects of this type are never problem-free and problems started to occur in November 2018. Bad weather held up the civil works forcing some of the work due to be completed in December, being pushed back to January and February while the deadline date remained the same. Due to flexible and collaborative working between Copper Chase, Serco and the Welsh Government, the project remained on track. The final four days had all three parties working together to strip out the old equipment including the heavily built steel MOD desk, repairing and making good the VCR floor, installing new carpets, installing new desks and fitting out with all the new equipment, all in the space of just four days. To find out how Copperchase can help you, visit www.copperchase.co.uk.